Okay, so if you've ever wondered how to get the audio on the Flight Factor F-350, here I am connected to X-Plane, and we're sitting on the ground in uh, Dusseldorf. If you come over here and look on the left side of my comm panel here, notice how the mouse goes to a... Uh, well, if you move it until it just becomes the up and down arrows, you can actually turn the volume control. And if you turn it, it starts out in a default position straight up and down. Get it till it turns into up and down arrows. Rotate it to the uh, till it comes around clockwise to the 9 o'clock position. Do that for your VHF-1. And then take it when your mouse turns into a finger, press it, and it illuminates. Now deselect it. Here we'll select the ATIS. It's uh, Get it to illuminate, rotate it, there's the mouse, and there we go, rotate it back, and it uh, actually will not work if you have it in the straight up and down position. It's very easy to accidentally get it to this uh, pointing finger, and then when you go to rotate, you come in, and so you kind of tend to give up on it. What you need to do is just bring it in. And whoop, it's hard. Get it till it becomes the up down arrows, and you can rotate, and it works. So that's the secret to getting the radios to work on the Flight Factor A three hundred and fifty.